Last but not least, Mr. Stringer, Alex, would you like to come up? Yes, sir. Three and a half minutes. All right. First of all, I would like to apologize for going over my allotted time limit earlier. Nothing gets me more excited than talking about and addressing the social and economic injustices of Boston. Now, with that being said, transportation is a huge problem, and we 100% need to figure out how to build a rail. But building a rail is going to take time, a lot of time. And there are things that we can do while building a rail to help ease our traffic concerns. Some of these issues include, but are not limited to, having multi, um, reserving the left lane on 35, 183 and Mopac for high occupancy vehicles, meaning three or more passengers. This will encourage carpooling and also encourage less uh, drivers to be on the road. Another thing that I would like to see happen is I would like to see more consistent operation of Metro Rapids and various buses to parts of Austin that are a little bit less central since many people are being pushed out of the central areas due to our affordability concerns. I think that we need to figure out how to develop, how to build a Metro, how to get the Metro Rapid to run through Del Valley or maybe Bastrop or maybe even the, the surrounding counties like Kyle, Buda and San Marcos. I think that these communities are becoming an integral part of the Austin area and they should also be served through our transportation needs. Now, before I go any further, I'd like to ask you guys a question. How many of y'all have problems or issues with a certain traffic light in your area? All right, I greatly appreciate the show of hands. And when I get elected, I want to assemble, assemble and use neighborhood commissions to address these issues and fix the, the lights on our street, which do not work properly so that they can turn green, red, yellow at the proper times and also have appropriate turn signals so that traffic on the road can speed up and move at a sustainable pace. Downtown, I, I work downtown as a pedicab driver, okay? And I see firsthand how bad the traffic is in downtown Austin, largely as a result of Uber and Lyft returning and Uber and Lyft refusing to fingerprint their drivers. The oversaturation of drivers on the road causes a huge traffic hazard downtown, and this hazard is so bad that it prevents the accessibility of emergency vehicles from passing through the downtown area in case somebody gets sick or injured while out and about. I propose that we not only um, have Uber and Lyft fingerprint their drivers, but I also think that there needs to be a cap on the number of rideshare drivers on the road to not only A, reduce traffic, but B, reduce the amount of carbon footprints permeating through the atmosphere as, the res as a result of these excess drivers on our streets. Thank you very much.